happening this morning. Milton has been downgraded to a Category 4 hurricane as it remains on a path towards Florida. Residents in Tampa Bay and Orlando are being forced to evacuate or prepare for the life-threatening storm. Less than two weeks since Helene swamped the same stretch of coastline. Milton is expected to make landfall Wednesday evening as a Category 3 hurricane. All right, and as Hurricane Milton barrels toward Florida and is expected to make landfall tomorrow, both residents and FEMA are bracing for the worst. The federal agency is already saying that it will not have the resources that it needs for the rest of this hurricane season. Doug Luzader has more for us from Washington. Now, FEMA insists that they have what they need for now, but the agency is already facing criticism over its response to Hurricane Helene as Milton gets closer and closer. In Florida, no sooner are they cleaning up from one storm than they're bracing for another. I'm scared. I'm very, I'm very afraid. The sandbags are a last resort, but Hurricane Milton could bring utter devastation, with Tampa Bay facing what could be its first direct hit from a hurricane in more than 100 years. FEMA already has its hands full, still reeling from Helene, where responders are struggling to reach those cut off by extreme floods. The response has been very weak, unbelievably weak. Nobody's ever seen such a weak response. A former President Trump among those criticizing FEMA and the White House over what they see as a delayed response. The way you're asking me the question is misinformation. The White House bristled at questions about storm funding and FEMA spending hundreds of millions of dollars on migrant issues, arguing the money comes from different accounts. There's a lot of mis and disinformation being pushed out there by the former president about what is available in particular to the survivors of Helene. And first of all, it's extraordinarily irresponsible. But FEMA does say it will need to replenish its coffers to make it through the rest of this hurricane season, although it does have enough to get through Helene and Milton. The disaster relief fund is the fund that we use to respond to disasters, and there has been zero dollars removed from that fund to support any other activities. And the New York Times is reporting that FEMA does have a staffing issue with just 9% of its personnel available to respond to Hurricane Milton or other disasters. In Washington, Doug Lusader, Fox News.